Hey, this is Mike, and I'd like to share with you a little tip I learned about how to post an article that you would put on WordPress to a Facebook page or even your Facebook personal profile if you wanted it to, though I do recommend it go to a page. But there's one more thing to this, too. I'm going to show you a way to do this that will give you extra added SEO juice as well. It will also give you or your followers or people searching in Google another way to find that article. So let me explain. What we're basically going to be doing is creating a RSS feed. Now what is a RSS feed? Uh, it stands for Rich Site Summary. Uh, I've called it really simple syndication uh, because it is really simple uh, once you understand it but it allows you basically to post any blog enter, uh, entry and have it go to several different locations. The one I'm going to show you today is just a, one of many ways that you can use a RSS feed. And what an RSS feed includes is you can make it full summary or you can just say, hey, I only want the first 100 uh, words or 50 words. Um, it could also include me uh, metadata, which is for the search engines when done properly and even the author of the article. But basically, to make it real simple, an RSS feed will benefit you by having the ability to post something and have that content automatically be posted someplace else. In this case, it's going to be Facebook. So here's an example uh, of how to use an RSS feed. When you post to WordPress, you can have it automatically go to Twitter. And there's several different ways of doing that, but that's uh, that's an RSS feed is when it auto posts. In this case, we're going to have it go to Facebook. Now, I want you to be careful here because if you're posting from WordPress to Twitter and then from Twitter to Facebook, and you also do what I'm going to show you, you're going to have duplicate posts. One of the most common ones I see is people will add their WordPress blog to their LinkedIn page so that's automatically fed into their LinkedIn page but then they also post to Twitter to LinkedIn and it has double posts in fact I've, I've seen as many as quadruple posts go into LinkedIn because the feeds get scattered so you have to really be careful the way you, you function your feeds or the way you line up your feeds so you don't get duplicated posts so in this case, we're going to make it simple and just begin with WordPress to Facebook. We're going to be adding lots of other feeds later on in, in other courses, but again, just WordPress to Facebook. And by doing it the way I'm going to explain, we're also going to add a lot of extra SEO juice to this as well so people can find you in the search engines. Now you might ask, well, again, why use an RSS feed? Well, number one, it saves time. Number two, it uh, can get you some extra SEO juice when done correctly and it makes it real simple to syndicate your content so let me give you an example when I post an article to the uh, SEO alien website I do manually uh, post that to my Facebook page I take a lot of time in bookmarking my articles directly from the SEO alien but I have a plugin in another WordPress page which is my personal one MikeJBarnes.com that I pull in several feeds from several different websites that I have and I don't want to take the time to go to that website and post it to Facebook so what happens is in this case I post to the SEO alien the Mike J Barnes website pulls in the article the first I think 100 words and then it automatically posts to my Mike Barnes Facebook page so I don't have to go do anything it just does it automatically so let me show you how this works 